Well, here's another favorite recipe for football parties, and your guests will never know that you've changed up the recipe to make it healthier. Ann Cox Eastis is back with us from Kroger. I love seven layer Mexican dip. It's I so do too. good. There's all kinds of variations mm -hmm. you can do with it, but um, we used light cream cheese, eight ounces to start with, and three fourths cup of light sour cream. If you can combine those two. Uh, really? And then they have a lower sodium taco seasoning. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. So I put two tablespoons. That's not quite a full package. I think a full package has maybe like three or so tablespoons so in it. So that would be overdoing it to put the whole thing in. Yes. Huh? Well, okay. you know, I mean, I guess you could. I was just trying to give it enough flavor, but not overpower. Yeah. So we're going to put that in the bottom of a pie pan. Okay. You could use a square casserole if you wanted to. And um, I've taken um, shredded lettuce, and we're going to pr uh, put that on top after you get that spread over there. Well, no, actually, we're going to put the black beans before we do oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so black beans, that's a little different because normally you tend to use the refried, refried beans. beans. And you could do that if you wanted to. I just uh, thought black beans was something different, and I rinsed and, and uh, drained the beans and dried them really good okay. before I put this on there. All right. So we just spread it out. Right. And I went ahead and did that last night. Okay. Okay. And covered it and put it in the refrigerator. Then if you want to sprinkle some shredded lettuce on top, it's about a half a package, I guess, is about what we did. Okay. Spread that, that out. Good. Yeah. No, just kind of spread that out all over you. Easy. Yep. And then oh, shredded cheese. This is the lower fat shredded Mexican blend. Okay. So it's got a variety. And once again, the lower fat cheeses oh. do better if you're not going to cook with them. Mm -hmm. um, they don't do quite as well if you're cooking with them. And then that's about a cup of, I had fresh tomatoes, so I used fresh tomatoes, chopped them up and drained them. You could use uh, salsa if you wanted to and drain it really well. That'd be good, yeah. And um, you got to have some guacamole or some um, avocado. avocado on and top. what I did was I chopped this up this morning, tossed it with a little bit of lime juice and left the seed in there to keep it from turning black. So oh, you just put that idea. on top. Okay. The lime juice. Oh, here. this is looking good, y'all. And then chopped green onions on top of that. So it, it's colorful. I took this to a party this weekend, and people really enjoyed not only the flavor, but because it was so pretty and colorful. And you're and serving we, it with baked chips. Yes, I am. Which is great. Tortilla chips. It looks delicious. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're going to find this recipe and the spinach and artichoke dip online right now in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. We'll be right back.